Hey drivers, Michael Fox here from CDL College in Commerce City, Colorado. In this video, I'll be explaining the air compressor as it relates to Class A and Class B vehicles. This information should help you understand the brake check portion of the pre-trip inspection. The air compressor is a small engine that's connected to the big engine in a semi-tractor. When the big engine is running, the air compressor is also running because the compressor is either gear or belt driven. So if the engine is running, the air compressor is making compressed air. The compressed air that it makes is sent to the air tanks through a system of air hoses. The air in the tanks is used by the air brake system whenever the driver depresses the brake pedal to slow or stop the vehicle. The governor is a device that's attached to the air compressor. The governor governs when air is sent to the air tanks. Here's what that means. The governor stops the flow of air to the air tanks when the tanks are full, which keeps the tanks at a maximum safe level. Every time a driver depresses the brake pedal, some portion of the air in the tanks is used. At that point, the governor allows more air to flow to the tanks from the air compressor. When the air tanks are full again, the governor stops the flow of air. The governor stops the flow of air when the air gauges read 120 to 140 psi. Since the air compressor can't turn itself off when the big engine is running, the compressor continues making air. If the governor is restricting that air from being sent to the air tanks because the tanks are full, all the air compressor can do is dump the air it's making into the atmosphere. When the compressor dumps air, it sounds like this. If the air pressure in the tanks drops too low, generally around 60 psi, the system will warn the driver with a light and or buzzer. This is known as a low air warning and it's a safety feature of the vehicle. If for some reason the air pressure drops to between 40 and 20 psi, the system will automatically set the emergency brakes. When this happens, the brake valves on the dashboard will pop out. At this point, the vehicle cannot be moved. If you try to push the valves in, they'll pop out again. Having little or no air in the air tanks means the brakes will not operate properly. No air, no brakes, no move. These valves can be pushed in after the air compressor has had sufficient time to refill the air tanks. And that's the air compressor in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. 